Well, welcome back to another installment of the Spanish Stairway to Heaven. What I've done so far is I've taken the introduction to the song and I've broken it down in two parts. I've taken a section of the song that I refer to as the verse and I've broken that down in a part. And now what I'm going to do is continue on with the section that I call the chorus. This is the part where Robert Plant starts to sing and it makes me wonder. For the chorus, we'll be playing an A minor 7th, a D, and a C chord. And if you recall from the song, this section starts with a riff in the open position based on the A minor 7th chord. But since we're in a Spanish tuning here, we'll have to compensate for that. And to play this part, here's how I plan to do it. I'm going to start off very slowly and we'll build up from there. Starting with the fifth string, we'll play an open string, we'll play the second and the third fret. Then we're going to go to the fourth string, play the second and fifth frets. We're going to return to the fifth string, play the third and second fret. Then we're going to move to the fifth string, fifth fret, and play the fourth string. 5th fret and finish with the 5th string, 2nd fret, 5th string open. Alright, maybe at 3 quarters pace here. And perhaps a slide or two where we're having difficulty trying to reach. covers the opening riff. I'll follow this up with the chords in the next section. And now continuing on with playing the chords for the chorus, I know I need to find an A minor 7th and a D and a C chord here, and I know I've got various positions I can play that from, but what's going to fit in with the type of song I'm playing now? Well, I know if I start off here at the relative uh, open position in the Spanish tuning and play an A minor 7th, I've got this sound here. And that works, but maybe I'm looking for something a little different. So here's an experiment, and this is one of the ways that you can find different sounds with the spider capo. I know that if I come up here on the 5th fret, I can play an A minor 7th up here, right? And that sounds pretty good. I'm getting close to something here. Perhaps I don't need to play an entire bar chord. What happens if I play the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings at the 5th fret? getting close, but I want to get a little tenseness in, don't I, to start off that, uh, that chord? Maybe adding the 1st string 8th fret. Well, there's your tenseness. And now that I have this, I know that I, at this fret position I can play a D chord, and I also know that I can easily slide down to the C chord down here. Alright, so I've got the three chords that I want to play. So, to play the chords during the chorus, we're going to play an A minor 7th. First three strings are barred at the 5th fret, but we're going to add the first string 8th fret with the pinky. We're going to go into a D suspended 4th by taking 1st string, 5th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret, playing that. And then we're going to bring the second string down to the seventh fret to play the regular D. Then we know we're going to come back to the A minor seventh. And then we're going to have a simple chord run from the C to the D and back down and up again. For the C chord, first string, third fret, second and third at the fifth. And then just a simple D suspended fourth, D, C. D. Okay, so I've got my chord progressions. Maybe it's going to sound something like this here. I know 
if I play that twice and I've got a complete chorus. So here's the complete chorus, including the opening riff. Next, we'll move into the second set of verses. Enjoy.